I would say that my basic uh, personality has always been optimistic. It's always been part of my personality to follow the joy. Most people, when they learn to paint, they have a lot of performance expectations. And I had no performance expectations. And so it allowed me to be playful and be joyful and not worry about doing anything but playing. Painting is one of those interesting activities where you have an idea, you do all this prior mental work, you do sketches, and then uh, you go and you have to be ready to let the painting go where it needs to go. And every time you allow the painting to take its course, something wonderful happens and you start to trust that instinct. I love flowers. I love the big, big flowers that we have here in Hawaii, the tropicals. I love the ocean. Uh, Mana Road is one of my favorite spots to go out and paint. I've been really fortunate because I enjoy paddling. And I've done a series of paintings that started out as sketches done from a canoe. Nice. Yeah, which was really fun. <laughs> Hawaii's outdoor life, from the ocean to the mountains, motivates and inspires Mary Spears. Her oils, watercolors, mosaics, and murals all reflect the natural abundant beauty of her island home. They've been wonderfully fun to make. I've been playing with the ocean in terms of the water movement and what happens with the surface of water and the collage. They're beautiful and I like the surface of the water and the reflections and uh, so it's one of those themes that runs across the last 15 years that I've been painting. The art gave me satisfaction, place to make joy and color and learn new things and I realized that I was enjoying it a lot, that it is one of the most exciting things in the world to me to start with a blank canvas and end up with an incredibly beautiful painting. It's like magic, and you can make magic happen every single day. One of the great things about Hawaii is that there, are, there is a level of Hawaii that's very deep and very cultural, and then there's a level of Hawaii that's also very kitsch. Things like slippers, aloha shirts, and uh, shave ice, and spam musubi. And in some ways, they're the signature of Hawaii. Initially, with the aloha shirts, um, it started out with slippers. I did a group of woodblock prints that were all of different slippers. And then once I started playing with the collage, I thought, oh, this would be really fun to use the Aloha shirt with the collaging. This would be a takeoff on the tapa. It's been really fun. Her work has been featured in numerous shows in the state of Hawaii. Active art instructor, she taught at the Four Seasons Hualalai for over a decade. She's designed fabric for Kahala Sportswear, Logos for Liquid Robotics, Jupiter Research Foundation, Bioscape Hawaii, and others. Her artwork is in private and public collections, including the Santa Barbara Museum of Art, the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel, the Fairmont Wailea, and Kaiser Permanente. Publications include Artists and Illustrators Magazine, Santa Fe's The Magazine, and local Hawaii and corporate publications. She's been a resident of Hawaii since 1989. You're sharing an emotion that you have with an audience. I see my art as a way to change the world with joy. And to me, that's huge. I think that uh, my paintings make people smile. Yeah.